More beasts! Too many beasts at once, guys! Too many beasts! <laughs> Greetings, mortals! I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome back to War for the Overworld! Let's get into it! Revenge is a dish best served cold, Underlord, but we're a bit lacking in refrigeration. The traitorous coward Marcus has made a deal with the Empire to save his own revolting hide. He defends the final inhibitor, and in exchange, the Empire's dogs leave him to cower behind his dungeon's walls. Get in there, Underlord, and tear it all down! Let's kill an Underlord and get the final inhibitor and invade their Empire. Also, you may have noticed, a new campaign is available, so we're we'll going to play for all the War for the Overworld campaign and then get into the Heart of Gold campaign. Oh, yeah. Here entrenched lies the traitorous Underlord Mark. He has pledged to protect this inhibitor with his life, having convinced the Empire that he means them no harm. The pathetic little turncoat. This uneasy peace has lasted too long. Vanquish this traitorous Underlord and destroy the inhibitor he protects. This place is riddled with brimstone. Its hardened exterior will be impossible to mine using conventional means. Are that's explosives? We have other forms of excavation. Death! Okay, so we can't go through Brimstone. Open the veins of evil and unlock the Underminer. Underminer unlocked. The Underminer excels at blasting through large chunks of earth. See for yourself. Wait, so I build, build this? Me or dungeon core. Unlike defenses, constructs can be placed on neutral territory and in water. So in your Once you with gold. The blueprint down, your workers will channel your unholy energies to construct them. What is it? The underminer is a makeshift explosive that will damage all nearby walls. And we'll blast through brimstone by causing a fiery chain reaction. Oh, it's fine time I can put it down. Thank you, game. Let's build it and blow it. In that order. Construct finished. Your underminer is ready to be activated. And let's Click blow this place up. Come on. Show. Let us in. Ah. I should have meant. Ooh. Brimstone is a fairly volatile. Substance. You should have mentioned that. Now that you're out, look east to see an abandoned beast den. You can use the wooden bridge to span your dungeon across water. Build one to the There we go. So we're going to take the beast, den. the beast den. Keep exploring. This room will allow bloodthirsty beasts to enter your dungeon. Unlike normal minions, beasts cannot work nor train themselves in your barracks. They wish only to strip the flesh from your enemies. So a three by three addition, portal. They do not require payment. Thank you. Or a layer. And they are more than happy to eat micro piglets straight from your slaughter pen. However, these unfortunate creatures oh. care not for their own lives. And will fight until their last breath. They cannot be saved if they fall in battle. That's the a shame. This is a flying beast and master of the mind. If it encounters an enemy, it will assault their senses, stunning them in their tracks. Outside of battle, it will scout the underworld. Ooh, explosives! the fog of war as it goes. The Oculus is a master of the mind. Thank you, you just told me that. Outside of battle, the Oculus will explore the depth of the underworld, relaying back what it sees to you and to its eldritch hive mind. Thank you! You've encountered an Empire Patrol. No sense in letting More beasts! Away now. Too many beasts at once, guys! Too many beasts! The Skarg is a deceptively cute beast. 
that prefers the flesh of dwarves above all, and can be trained to fetch and return ivory. I like the Skarg. You can rally all of your beasts to battle using the Beast Rally flag. The Empire's Juggernaut has built his strength toiling away in the foundry and garrison. Unsurprisingly, he can tolerate humongous amounts of damage. Get a juggernaut. We've got a um and the formidable strength of your beasts. A mistress, uh, priest, that's like got a mistress. And the empire force he colludes with. Using the mind to blast up mistress and inhibit her. Playing the siege shrine like to break through Marcus's walls ease. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing this. Gonna breach. So we're slowly going to be pushing the enemy, murdering everything they hold dear. But like I was saying here, to build a beast den, a 3x3 three three area will summon a portal which, you're, which more beasts come through and then it acts as a lair. So if you don't have the 3x3 three three originally, you don't get the beast den portal. Saying that, is that the only way we've got? Guess we're going to have to put another one down then. Your minions fight the enemy. You have discovered a gateway. You're a gateway? Where? Across the water? Yes, across the water. Okay, so we're going to go over here as well. So as you can see, we're slowly expanding the territory to own everything. Summon worker will create an additional worker. Oh, I didn't actually tomorrow. connect. I'm an idiot. Each worker summoned after the first five will lock 50 mana. Workers can only be summoned within your own territory. So we're going to take as much gold as I possibly can. What's this? Oh, we're going to steal it anyway. So slowly expanding everything we know. To quickly add plots of land to your dungeon, you can use an outpost, which will claim tiles in a 3 by 3 radius once constructed. Oh, we're poor. Have enough gold to do that. Yeah, we're poor. That's awkward. We're awkwardly poor or poorly awkward. Another patrol. Give these dogs the beating they deserve. Yes. Worker rally will create a banner around which your workers will. Oh, I can say you just literally dogs. just put a Slap rally or beast. Right click to dismiss it, or right click on its icon to dismiss all worker rally flags at once. Okay, where we're looking at it, there's an attack over there. It's fighting in the gate. There's more fighting over here. There's a lot of combat. This is very awkward. I'm not sure where to go right now. But I'm going to drop this here. Uh huh. Drop another one here. A construct has been so I'll slowly detonate my way through their world. Take as much gold as I possibly can while I'm at it, of course. Nope, you're not a bomb. It's gold there. Blow that up. Blow that up. There we go. You've discovered a gold shrine. Your minions have entered battle. The Empire's Templar is their core foot soldier. Dim witted. And pure battle fodder for an underlord. Sir leading role. Interesting. And Kerf Ugresh. Sir leading role and Kerf Ugresh. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna break through this gate over here. Destroy everything in our path. Expand over here, let's just go some of this. Okay, we now have Micro Piglet Den here. Perfect. We're slowly expanding everything we know to actually have some land we can actually bloody use. We we'll actually have a lair there. Okay, there's a cultisty thing there, archive. And then we're going over here, we're going to have... What are we going to have? Tavern, I guess. You 
have insufficient funds. Yay, I'm poor. There's combat going on over here. We're fighting a juggernaut, and the juggernaut is dead. Die. Punch him in the face. Come on, punch him in the face really hard. There's a perception shrine over here somewhere. I'm very perceptive, and I saw it. And we're fighting. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we've nearly taken that, so we can just go... Pop. We can go to this now. There you go. Go explore wherever you want to, people. Take all the gold as well. Complete. Really? Are under okay, we've got combat going on all over the place. We've got troops moving around. The oculuses are quite useful. I really want to say Rift. The Oculus Rifts are very useful, but I'm not that insane yet. Yet. I might get there eventually. We have five Oculuses, five Skog, and two of them. Okay. This is a spot. Time to pay your minions, Underlord, for all their hard work. Okay, we now have a combat area. Improve the speed at which your workers dig through earth and fortified walls. This shrine empowers your workers, allowing them to destroy enemy fortified walls with ease. That door has been there? Okay, we now own this fortified shrine. And we're just slowly taking all the land around it because I own it now and it's mine. We've uh, identified an artifact of construction. Activated to instantly complete all in progress constructs. Really the now? Will call down a thunderous bolt of energy, damaging and stunning a single enemy. However, it can only be used within your own territory. Okay, so we're learning some stuff, or your not really, you know. In combat. You've discovered a perception shrine. Okay, so slowly expanding this way. There's gold there, so that means we need to bridge across. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Not a gnarling, my god, no one likes them. Okay, so we need to do a massive assault on this place now, so let's drop it down. Okay, my troops should be pouring out somewhere. Well, there's two of them. It's a pouring of two. No money right now, but we're getting that. What's this? Ah, gold shrine. It's a gold shrine to talk about. Once we get that, we can just continuously get money. I've got those little torches on these bridges. I wouldn't be able to see a bloody thing. Okay, so we've got a couple of Oculuses fighting there. Got a load of Skogs taking the door down. This is perfect. The gold Good! Now mine the gold shrine. Your minions are fighting the enemy. So as long as we keep getting gold, we'll be able to form a massive army of doom and gloom. And other things. Go to this as well, we don't care. There we go, done. Okay, they're dead. There is a single Templar holding out there. The door's going down. Oh, there's a Juggernaut. I thought he was dead. He's not dead yet. Gnarling, who cares? Another bridge. Okay, we're going to push across, take this place as well. That'll be helpful. Okay, he's dead. Good, we're still moving across. They aren't using the bridge, I've noticed. Okay, they get in. Get that. So we just have minions all around the place. There's another ballista here. No one cares, though. The doors are the main issue because they're doing anything getting in my way and slowing me down. Ironic. Okay, they're continuously mining. Good, need the gold, need the gold. 
Let's have a foundry here. Your minions fight the enemy. Good. They're meant to. I pay them to do that. Do I pay them? I occasionally pay them to do that. Oh, it's red over here. A chunder has entered your dungeon. You're still slowly expanding my combat capabilities in the rear. Hey, hey, that's a joke, I think. The castle. There's a tavern. Your minions are under attack. You have insufficient funds to do that. Okay, it's telling me we're poor. On the right side, everything is dead. Who's that? Oh, it's not just getting confused. Okay, the Oculus Rift, uh, the Oculus Rift, I bloody knew I'd say it eventually. The Oculuses are just doing weird things. I think all hell better destroying that door there. The door's gone. We're now taking another siege Your camp. Fighting the enemy. Where? You've got another sin, you devil, you. Ooh. You've claimed a siege shrine. So what I actually want to unlock is... Tavern? Barracks? Warding Totem? Outpost? Outpost unlocked. There we go. Your dungeon's expansion by building an outpost. The outpost will claim all tiles in a small radius around it and will prevent those tiles from being claimed by the enemy until it is destroyed. It's ideal for claiming new territory far from your dungeon. Perfect! So extend your reach. Okay, we're gonna keep on expanding and growing and glowing and murdering and killing because that's what we need to do. There's combat over here as well by the looks of it. No, nope, just dead people. Ready. So we need to hit this over here now to get the final one. That's easy to do. I think. You've claimed the perception. Might be famous last words, but we'll try. Okay, that's a load more of them. There we go, come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to expand it. Across here. And we'll keep on going. Okay, still claiming the central territory, that's perfect. So the portal. I want that. I obviously want another bloody portal. Okay, so what was happening now is we're given almost free reign to do what the hell we like, and I'm slowly expanding my combat capabilities in every direction. You okay. received a new sin. Ooh. Warding totem unlocked. So I'm actually going to use this to get another beast den down. Come on. So hopefully I'll summon even more things at once. Okay, so we have another beast den with another spawner in it. Our troops are pushing along in every direction. We're trying to go north still, which means we need to cross here. Okay, so we're pushing. We're pushing hard. We own the centre. It's not pretty to look at, but we own it. A new sin is available. To you. Is it? I have nothing else to. Well, I do. In raid. Unlocked. Okay, we're gonna drop a combat flag to here, I guess. See if they can make it. I hope so. I really want to kill something, and I want to kill something bad. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, there it is. Next tip. Thank you for all the tips. Grab healing dissolve. 
takes me back to the village, banish, spotlight. How do I limbo people again? Oh, well, we'll leave that for now. We're slowly growing. Things are getting epic. So I'm at the very low stage where even a bloody buffalo might be an issue. I'm not saying it's going to be, but it might. There we go. Screw you. Missiles. 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 Whew. So there we go.